Huh, <sighs> finally, my work with my client is all done. Unfortunately, in, in the midst of all that work, I completely forgot to upload my video. So, I'm sorry again for the late upload, but then again, I, I can imagine that not that many people watch my videos in the morning. At least, like, one thing that I'm realizing is that not a whole lot of people are actually doing that, but... Either way, it's important for me to at least have the video up in the morning, just because, yeah, it's, it's important. But anyway, uh, setting that aside, uh, I need to get some breakfast. I really just need some food in my body. So my work has been going at a pretty steady pace overall. Um, I have gotten the chance to move around a little bit as you have seen the clips. I have been, have been able to do a little bit of exercising. So I'm really thankful for, for that, that I managed to squeeze all of that in. Um, there still is a lot of work that I need to be doing. And that's what I plan on doing uh, for the rest of tonight. Uh, it's just doing, it's just finishing up my, my list of, of things. A, a lot of it I was just focusing a lot on some of the smaller tasks. And uh, I really want to be spending some more time on some of the other like more thought provoking ones. So uh, some of them being like writing, and, uh, writing some articles and, and whatnot. So I, I still feel really energized to do that. Uh, so that is something that I do plan on on working but the other thing that I want to be talking about is affirmations uh, or at least like convincing yourself to do particular things it can be really difficult um, for for you to convince yourself to be able to do work and especially in my sort of case where I, I'm going like back and forth between work and I can imagine that other people are experiencing the exact same thing where they're procrastinating or putting things off and they and they have a, a difficult time taking action and just doing particular things. Sometimes what might really help is to convince your brain or to start saying particular things. Kind of like what I said a, a couple of videos ago where your, your words carry, your, carry weight. The thing is, is that you can also use some of those words to manipulate and convince yourself of particular things. For example, uh, I started taking some cold showers and s some of the methods that I use for that, or at least like the beginner's method, is to take a shower as, as is. And then, on, 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 then near the very end, you change the tap water to cold and just get rid of the warm water if you're used to taking warm showers. So this sort of method works very well because in, in a lot of cases, like your body is already used to it, you kind of find, you find that it's kind of nice. And th today was the first day that I was able to 
really sit in the in the cold shower because obviously like for for people it's it's kind of instinct that it's kind of instinct that as soon as you feel something cold you you, you jump out uh, out of the shower or you 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 have some kind of reaction but today I was able to stay in the shower for a little bit longer than usual and I was able to do that by telling myself like hey a cold shower is actually quite refreshing after you take a warm shower and you're, you're you can stand in there for quite some time if you if you think about it like because you're gonna feel warm afterwards so what really happened was I was able to convince my brain that okay like I can endure the cold the coldness of the water and then when I get out I'm gonna feel really warm I'm gonna feel really refreshed and just all around a lot better than before so that sort of strategy can work in a variety of cases like like I said before uh, with saying like I want to be getting more out of my day or I can get more out of my day that can spur you on to actually following through with that sort of thing where you're doing particular action where, where you're motivating yourself to do particular actions it's a self-motivating tactic that I use and I've been using it to great effect especially at this point in time where I'm where I'm just fed up with like feeding myself excuses I, I say like you know what I'm gonna stop thinking of excuses and start own, and start committing to what it is that I'm saying and what I'm, what I'm telling to other people as well as what I'm telling myself like start changing some of the words that I'm that I'm saying to myself and actually start taking action on moving forward with what, a, what it is that I want to be doing with my life and where I want to be going so that sort of tactic I feel like can really help other people as well like I, I know that it's nothing new but at the same time I'm finally able to get somewhere with it uh, I'm able to take some action and really seize the moments in, in my life I, I still need to be capturing a lot of it on camera but again like like I said most of my action at least at this point in time is me sitting in a chair so it's just a matter of working around that and saying like okay like what what sort of things can I do differently with that as opposed to just focusing entirely on me sitting in my desk like I can I can do some other things so I do have some other ideas like I do have I am formulating some strategies of what it is that I can be doing with my recordings to make them interesting and still have some montages and not just me sitting at a desk but that's the but, but it's a matter of taking action on that and I feel like I'm getting somewhere with that. So at the end, as I've been saying several times over, our words carry weight. Never ever underestimate them because they are very powerful things that can make us do so many wonderful things when we take the time to listen to them, make adjustments to them that will pump us up and motivate us as opposed to dragging us ourselves down.